Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So I've got a quick tip video today. I'm gonna to try to make electrical shielding paint with some common everyday items that you can pick up at your local hardware store or even Walmart. Now, for those of you that are aware of what electrical shielding paint is used for, it's used in the cavities of a guitar body on the inside where the electronics go to shield the electronics from radio interference. So we're gonna try to mix up a couple of common items here. I've got some black craft paint and I've got some graphite lubricant. I picked this up from Ace Hardware and this I already had, but I think I got it from Walmart originally. You can go with any black craft paint. You can go with a different color if you want, but when you mix in the graphite, it's gonna turn it darker. So the tools I'm gonna to use today, I've got a pill bottle that I'm going to use to mix this stuff in. I've marked it off with a couple of graduations. I'm going to use a stick to mix it up and I've got a horsehair brush that I'm going to use to paint this with. I'm also going to use an ohm meter to show you the stuff we make today is exactly as good as the stuff that Fender uses and other manufacturers. Okay, so I'm gonna work on this original Fender body here. This is a player body and it has its outside finish stripped off, but it still has the shielding paint on the inside that I can test. So the property that I'm looking for here is continuity. And that's why I've got my multimeter set on ohms. So right now you can see my multimeter says zero L and that means no continuity. You can see what happens when I touch these two leads together. I get zero ohms, which is perfect continuity. Basically, what I'm gonna do is measure the resistance of this paint that's inside this cavity, and we're gonna see how good this connection actually is. So I'm just gonna go with a solid part that looks like it's fully painted across and measure a couple inches apart with my two leads. So that measures 27K or 27 kilo ohms. Let's do another one, 50 kilo ohms. Let's do one down here. 31 kilo ohms. So we're looking at on about a two inch measurement that you'll get between 20 and 50 kilo ohms. So the more ohms that show up on this meter when I do that test, the worse the connectivity is or the more resistance there is. And the worse that is, the worse your shielding is essentially. Okay, so back to arts and crafts. Let's mix up some paint. And what I'm gonna do is I've got this marked off and I'm gonna fill the tube here with paint up to the first line. Then I'm gonna fill it with graphite up to the third line. That's two parts graphite to one part paint. And I'm hoping that that's gonna give me the mixture that I need. Okay, this is pretty close, so I've just got a popsicle stick and I'm going to mix it up. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of the consistency that I've got right now, so I'm going to add a little bit more paint. Okay, this is starting to feel correct. I've got a consistency that looks like heavy, heavy metallic paint. You can sort of see the shininess in it, and that's what I'm looking for. All right, so to test this out, I've got a little horsehair brush that I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna dip it in the paint, paint a section onto some wood, and then we'll try out the continuity test with the multimeter again. Okay, that looks about like how I would want it to look on the inside of my guitar, so I'm gonna let this dry, and then we're gonna try this out. All right, test time. Now you might be wondering, why do I have two painted sections here on this piece of wood? And in point of fact, I actually have three. But what I did was, this is the original that we just painted on camera. Then I went back and I thought, well, I'm gonna try the original mix just to make sure I'm not doing something wrong. So this is the two to one mixture of graphite to paint. This is more like a one to one. And then on this one, I didn't like the consistency of this two to one mix, it's really thick. So I added some water to it and made it flow a little bit better. So we'll try that one too. But just to show you the example on the original paint, you can see it has basically the same consistency as the fender paint, 24K ohms. That's what we saw on this guitar body. Now, the reason that I thought I would try more graphite is because I thought, you know, more graphite, more continuity. So let's see. That's 1.6K. That's, you know, 20 times better or so. Now let's try the one with the water thinner and it's 5K. This with the water thinner, and I probably would add a little bit more water to be honest, but I added probably 10 drops of water to the two to one mix of graphite to craft paint, made it flow a lot better. It's still not quite 
as pretty as this one looks. This one looks nice, flat, even, no brush marks. This one has heavy brush marks because the graphite's building up in the grooves between the brush hairs. And then this one's got semi-heavy brush marks. So I think if I thin this one out more, it would be better in the long run. I think basically what I've shown here today is that you can make your own shielding paint with common household items and you don't have to pay the 15 or 20 dollars that you would pay on amazon for a small container of it so hopefully that saves you guys some money in the long run i'm glad to know how to do this and i hope you guys are too so thanks a lot and i'll see you next time